Hello everyone, let's start with the next topic which is energy audit. So according to Energy Conservation Act 2001, energy audit is defined as the verification, monitoring and analysis of use of energy including submission of technical report containing recommendation for the improvement of energy efficiency with cost benefit analysis and an action plan to reduce the energy consumption. Thus, energy audit is a systematic approach for decision making in the area of energy management. Now, let us see what is the need of energy audit. In any industry, the top three operating expenses are energy, labor, and material. The only thing which can be managed or you can say the potential saving can be done only in energy. So, your energy management function constitute a strategic area for the cost reduction. Now, the energy audit will help to understand more about the ways energy and the fuels are used in any industry and help in ident identifying the areas where the waste can occur and where there is a scope for improvement. Thus, the primary objective of energy audit is to determine ways to reduce the energy consumption per unit of the product output or to lower the operating cost. And so it provides a benchmark or you can say reference point for managing energy. Next, let us see types of energy audit. So now the types of energy audit will be depending upon function and type of industry. Next is depth to which the final audit is needed. This will be depending upon the type of industry. And the next is potential and magnitude of cost reduction desired. So, accordingly, there are types of energy audit. So, types of energy audit, the first one is preliminary audit and the next one is detailed audit. So, let us see one by one. So, first is preliminary energy audit. So, let us see how this audit takes place and this is relatively quick exercise. So, first is establish energy consumption in organization. We have to get the energy consumption. Next is estimate the scope for saving. Next is identify the most likely area for attention. Next is identify immediate improvement or saving the area where immediate improvement or saving is needed. The next is set a reference point. After that, identify area for more detailed study or measurement. And the last one is preliminary energy audit using users existing or easy obtained data. So, this is about the preliminary energy audit. The next type of audit is detailed audit. As the name itself details, so it will be in detail. This type of audit offers the most accurate estimate of energy saving and cost. And this audit is carried out in three phases. So, phase one is pre-audit phase. Second is audit phase. And the next is post-audit phase. So, let us see this phases one by one. So, here is the 10 step methodology of the detailed energy audit. So, let us see what happens in a pre-audit phase. 
so step 1 is to plan and organize walk through the audit informal interview with the energy manager production or plant manager so in the first step we have to establish and organize an energy audit team organize the instrument needed for energy audit collection of data then getting familiarized with the process and plant activities and observation and assessment of the current level of operation and practices next is step 2 is conducting a brief meeting awareness program with the all division head so here in this step building up the cooperation then uh, all the issues are being discussed or questioned to each department there will be an orientation and the awareness creation so this step are to be conducted before the audit that is this is the pre audit phase next is the audit phase so step 3 is primary data gathering then process flow diagrams and the energy utility diagrams so here all the historical data analysis is being done all uh, preparation of all the process chart is being done all the diagrams are being collected then data is being collected design operation data and schedule of operations annual energy bill and energy consumption patterns so in this step the data gathering and the diagrams is to be collected step number 4 is conduct survey and monitoring so here all the measurements are to be conducted measurements will take place so motor survey insulation and lightning survey with a portable instrument for the collection of more and accurate data is to be done and confirm and compare the operating data with the design data so the comparison is to be done in short the monitoring will be done survey and monitoring is done in this step step number 5 is conduct of detailed trials or experiments for the selected energy guzzlers so here the trials or the experiments are taken so 24 hours power monitoring is being done load variation trends in the pump fans next is the boiler efficiency trials are being conducted furnace efficiency trials are being conducted step 6 is analysis of energy use so energy and the material balance and the energy lost or waste analysis is being done here in step 7 identification and development of energy conservation opportunities so here in the step 7 identification of the energy conservation measures conceive develop and refine the ideas renew the previous ideas suggested by the unit personnel then review the previous ideas suggested by the energy audit if any and uh, the brainstorming and the value analysis technique contact vendor for efficient technologies so all the energy conservation opportunities identification and development will be done in the step number 7 next is step number 8 cost benefit analysis so here assess technical feasibility economic viability and uh, prioritization of the energy conservation opportunities option for the implementation so all this has to be assessed next is select the most promising project and the last is priorities by the low medium and long term measures so in this way we have to prioritize 
Step number nine is reporting and presentation to the top management. Now, after all the steps, documentation and report presentation to the top managers, ma top management is being done. So all this comes under the audit phase, and the last one is the pre audit phase. So step number ten is implementation and follow up. assist and implement energy conservation recommendation measures and monitor the performance so action plan schedule for the implementation follow up and the periodic reviews are to be taken so these are the 10 step methodology of the detailed energy audit with the audit phase with the pre audit phase audit phase and the post audit phase So that's all for this video.